Should an MP have to resign their seat before crossing the floor or joining another party? I think it would be a good idea to have them, you know, resign at first, but I don't know enough of the details to give a really honest answer. Yeah, I think they should have to resign because you're voted in, the people who voted for you voted with these beliefs and now that you switch beliefs, they voted you in with these intentions and now you're going to go the other way and they didn't have a say in that anymore and that's undemocratic. If you're confident, you should be able to win it again in what you believe in. I would think that it would make sense that they resign. If they're, you know, like basically they're going to say, well, I'm no longer with you guys. My philosophy is now with those guys. Um, yeah, they should have to basically resign and be accepted on the other side, yeah? I believe they should because they should let them know the reason why they're joining the other party. I don't think so. I don't have, uh, I haven't really thought about it much, but it's, um, I think they were elected and I think that they can stay there certainly and, and wait out their term. I don't think they need to resign. Well, I think they should resign their seat. The voters voted them in as a particular party and for them to take a personal choice and just change over and, and take that support with them I think is unfair. No, I think uh, you elect the person to the, the position and they make their decisions. And if they want to change, fair enough. Wait till the next election and then vote them out. Don't waste money on another election. Well, that's a good question. Uh, I think they should resign their seat. If they, do, if they were elected by the people to be in there, like for myself, I vote for the person. I don't vote for the party. So if they have a good platform, that's who, who I usually vote for. So if, like, for example, back in our day, we had Dale Kirby was the member for my area, and he switched over from the NDP to the Liberal Party. And I wasn't for the same platform that the Liberal Party was offering at the time. And uh, I think he should have resigned, but he didn't at the time. Yes, he should resign your seat. They're going to a different party altogether, so their philosophy is better for the other side, for them to want to go. Well, resign your seat and go across four. Yeah, I haven't given that one much thought, but I think that's probably the sort of thing to do with integrity. Yeah, resign at first, but across the floor. It's my first thought on it. I haven't really given it much thought, but... I'd say yes, though they were elected in that seat by people voting for the party. Um, I understand some people vote for the actual MP, but for the most part, I believe people vote for the party, not the MP, so I'd say so. I think that they've worked together, they've been elected or appointed depending on the position, and they've earned that. And crossing the floor, I'm, I don't think that's such a big deal. That, I think, is a, a matter of uh, these constituents to make that decision. I leave it to them. Uh, I think if a person feels that the uh, promise made by the party has shifted so far to the opposite of what the person represents and the, and the constituent represent, then that person should have an obligation of trying to represent the constituents and their positions more freely. So uh, I think too long they're, they're tight, tight and gripped as MPs and the, either they speak and represent the, the constituents or they represent the party. Either one, they got to make a choice. It would make sense, right? Because if they're, if they're changing parties, it would, it would make sense that they're changing their policies from what they were elected for. Uh, personally, I feel that they, wish they should resign their seat and be v voted in game by their constituency under whichever new party they're going to. At the end of the day, they were elected by their constituents and I think MPs need to do whatever they can do to represent the voice of their constituents. Um, right now, they tend to be tied to parties, but I don't know that that's the best solution, so crossing the floor is, is gives people options. I think they should because they get elected as, as one party to represent a certain set of beliefs and if they want to, to change parties, that mean they need to have their uh, uh, their constituents have a say in an election to make sure that that's the, the party and that's the philosophies that they want to go with.